Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again, and we're back at it on Tuesday, December 3rd. I've got a doctor's appointment this afternoon in Brunswick, Georgia. So, got here, got off the interstate at exit 38 right here by the Sam's Club, and pulled in the Sam's Club parking lot, was here maybe five minutes, and got a $36 offer, two drop-offs. They're both going to St. Simons Island, so it's 14 miles, and it's pretty much a round trip, and unless I want to stay on the island and do Uber, and if the map turns red, DoorDash. But anyway, here we sit in the Sam's Club parking lot, waiting to get loaded up. All right, y'all got loaded up. That was quick and easy. On our way to St. Simon's, Iowa. Starting route. Proceed to the route, then turn left onto right, Canal Road. That's a little bit loud. At the next stop sign, turn left. Whoa. Right, y'all. Appreciate your business. Hope you have a terrific day. All right, y'all. We got that first drop done. <laughs> These uh, there were two 15 packs of Smart Water one liter bottles. It was kind of deceptive. They didn't look that heavy. But that means I delivered 30 liters of water, which is the same as delivering 60 normal size bottles of water. Go past this light, then at so, the next one, turn left. That was pretty heavy. Anyway, now we got firewood to drop at off. The light, turn left onto Frederica Road. And I thought when I looked at the map, I thought for sure this was going to Sea Island, but it, evidently it's not. I would go straight right here to get on to Sea Island, but they're telling me to turn left. So I guess we're not going to Sea Island, which is a good thing. And Brunswick was busy on DoorDash a while ago. No, it's gray now. Yeah, and St. Simon's is gray. No dashing for me right now. Okay, we're delivering in Sea Palms, so I thought we were going to be delivering to a billionaire on Sea Island, but turns out we're just delivering to a millionaire in Sea Palms. Go past the street, then turn left onto Tall Pine Road. Right, more family I appreciate your business hope you have a terrific day all right y'all we just accepted a DoorDash order paying $13.75 let me explain Wesley and I are go are going to have lunch together at Southern Soul barbecue which has been featured on diners drive-ins and dives fantastic barbecue restaurant on st. Simon's Island Anyway, I'm going to meet Wesley there, 
I already know what I'm going to order. They have a uh, <laughs> sort of a mashup of a barbecue sandwich and a Cuban sandwich that they call a barbecuban. I'm going to have a barbecuban. Anyway, so we got a DoorDash order in Brunswick picking up at a liquor store delivering to the island. Actually, I was talking to Wesley. He said that it's uh, right near McDonald's. Well, that's right near Southern Soul Barbecue. So this is $13.75. I don't know how many miles because it's taking me right where I want to go anyway. So here we go, y'all. Let's go get some liquor. Hi there. I've got a DoorDash order for Sandra. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sandra right here, sir. You can confirm it? Oh, yeah, sure. Right. How you been today, man? Pardon? How you been? Yeah. Good, how about you? Turn right on the kitchen's way. Yeah. You got a camera on top? I have a YouTube channel. Oh. So you put me on YouTube? That's right. If that's okay. Monetize your channel? <laughs> Pardon? Monetize? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, um, I've got uh, 11,000 oh. subscribers. This this is the name of the channel on my hat and my... Oh, wow. But uh, yeah, we've got 11,000 subscribers. And going pretty well. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. All right, y'all, we got our liquor picked up. We're heading back to the island. You know, this isn't any kind of great deal. It's 13.75 for 10 miles. And I've got to check ID when I get there. But it's taking me right where I want to go. So I'm cool with it. Then a 900 feet. Why you gotta be so loud? All right, here we go, y'all. That was crazy. Oh, that was sweet. Let me, did you get your driver's license? Oh, yes, sir. I think they're going to make me scan it. Yes, Whoops. yes. Please. Can you just help me? Get packages in? Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't mind at all. Uh, oh. Thank you. It's freezing. Can you scribble on that line? Yes, sir. Well, here you can get away from the cold door and there you go I'll, you can tell it's messy but it is my signature oh yeah that's fine all right i thank you you're welcome sir i thank you very much you're welcome i hope you have a terrific day i hope you do too. <laughs> thank you very much thank you so much dear all right all right y'all we got that liquor order dropped off and it went up from 1375 to 1775 that's pretty cool so we're at uh what 53 54 dollars probably now we're about to go get wesley go have some lunch and that sweet lady Asked me if I would bring the liquor in her house, which I did. And then she asked me if I would bring four Amazon packages in her house, into her house. So I did that. And she said something about, I'll give you extra money. I don't know if she's going to add something. You know, she didn't hand me any cash or anything. I don't know if she's going to add to the tip in the DoorDash app. I don't even know if you can do that or how you can do that. It doesn't matter. Seventeen seventy-five was fine. And I didn't mind helping her with her packages at all. All right, here we go, y'all. About to go pick up Wesley. Barbecuban. I'm excited. I bet St. Simons is busy on DoorDash right now. Uh, it took a while yesterday for it to get good, but between Uber Eats and DoorDash, I did almost $100 in a few hours. I was like, oh, oh good. Yeah, I was I was very happy about that. You could do a morning. 
and then in the afternoon, and then the whole dinner yeah. with breaks in between, obviously, is what I'm implying. And yeah, you might make close to two hundred dollars a day and, during the summer. And see, that would be so cool. It's the thing. It's the luxury I don't have because I live in the middle of nowhere. But man, living right here and being able to just I'm telling you, if work I can anytime this, you want to. If I can, well, they're closed. I don't. What did it say? It didn't. It didn't give a reason. No, it didn't give a reason. It just literally said, just said we're closed today. Sorry, sorry for, for the, the inconvenience. inconvenience. Yeah. So what just on a random Tuesday, they decided to be closed. I said, "What should we do about it?" Because I was like, you, "You don't need to call the cops, do you?" Because <laughs> because my door may have grazed your mirror. May or may not have. Yeah. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly grazed your mirror. Well, she said she was in the car when it happened. Anyway, so I said, what should we do about it? What do you want to do about it? What should we do? And she talked to her mom some more, or dad, or whoever she was on the phone with. And she never said anything to me, never said anything else. And finally, I said, listen, I'm really sorry, but I've got to go. My order's ready. I've got to go deliver this. And I grabbed my order and left. Well, about 15 minutes later, the cops pulled me over on the highway between Callahan and Hilliard, I was heading home, and said they had a report of a hit and run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I said, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I said, y'all. <laughs> when I opened my door, it might have grazed her mirror. I looked at her mirror after the fact, after she told me that, and there's a little bitty black mark on her mirror that maybe I caused, maybe not, I don't know. But come on, y'all, it's not a hit and run. And uh, so the police officer, he and I talked for a little while, and then he let me go, and that was the end of it. Now, this this uh, cop that pulled me over and talked to me for a while was very cool and all, and uh, I told him he was going to be on YouTube that night, and he was like, oh, cool. <laughs> nice. And, uh, <laughs> and Dude, that. when I was crabbing and fishing that year, parents would leave their children with me for hours. <laughs> That's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> all right, y'all. Just got out of the doctor's office. About to head home, but turned on the apps. Got some terrible spark offer. Uh, but we just got an Uber Eats on the trip radar. And you know, I never get screenshots of the trip radar, you know, until after the fact, after the money comes in and all. But uh, it's $16 and change. I think it said it was going 17 miles. Hear me out, though. I looked very closely at the map. I'm telling you, my plan is to go home on Highway 303. This, I think it's Papa John's Pizza. This is dropping off on Highway 303, exactly where I was going to be going anyway. I swear it's true. I'm not making it up. Highway 303 is the best way to avoid the Sydney Lanier Bridge, which is like 300 feet up in the sky. Um, I will not drive over that bridge. <laughs> so 303 is what I always take to go home. This is amazing. Lisa D. Uber Eats. Here is yours. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day, buddy. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome, have a good day. Be careful. You too.
Hey, y'all. Got a pizza for Lisa D. Are you Lisa D? I am. All right. Just the lady I was looking for. I appreciate you so You're much. You're welcome. Thanks for your business. Yes, sir. Have a good day. All right, y'all. Got our Papa John's pizza dropped off to an employee at the country club right on my way home. It's fantastic. Amazing. Right, y'all, that does it for Tuesday, December the 3rd. That was pretty cool. You know, we had a doctor's appointment in Brunswick we had to go to. So we did a little gig work along the way, there and back. <laughs> Got a $36 Sam's Club order. A, uh, what turned out to be a basically $18 DoorDash order. And a $16 Uber Eats order. That's it. That equals $70. And y'all, I'm telling you, it was just amazing that that DoorDash order took me right to the island, right where I wanted to go. Was able to get there just the right time to have lunch with Wesley and make it to my doctor's appointment. I was in and out of there quick, got a clean bill of health, then turned the apps back on and got that $16 uber order that took me 15 miles toward my house just right straight to my house amazing <laughs> anyway that was pretty fun three quick little orders well i mean you know the sam's club order that was a one hour trip for 36 dollars round trip but uh i, I don't know how long to say we worked Certainly no more than two hours. And uh, made 70 bucks. That was really cool. Anyway, y'all, that's it. Hopefully things will get back to normal tomorrow. Just go work for a few hours every morning and come home and make a video. All that normal stuff. No out-of-town trips. No more doctor's appointments. <laughs> anyway, thanks for riding along with me, y'all. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Down on the outskirts of town.